we've been talking a lot about the future we want. I think it's time we had from that front, you know, the people who will inherit the future, what they have to say. Ms. Bansi, you have the floor. Um, Kehkusha Basu from Dubai, the United Arab Emirates. I'm the Regional Ambassador for Tunza Eco Generation and an active member of Tunza UNEF. I just turned 12 on 5th June, which is also the World Environment Day. Being born on World Environment Day, I feel that it was preordained that I should grow up to take care of Mother Earth. I live in Dubai, the city of gold, which is also a desert oasis, surrounded by some of the fiercest deserts in the world, called the Rum al Khali or the Empty Quarter. This desert is literally empty of all life, as nothing can survive in its fierce heat. Did you know that several thousand years ago, this desert was a lush green oasis, but soil erosion and climatic changes have turned it into an arid desert. Our life depends on the land we live on, yet we simply disregard and degrade it. We should all remember the words of Roy W. Simonson, be it deep or shallow, red or black, sand or clay, the soil is the link between the rock core of the earth and the living things on its surface. It is the foothold for the plants we grow. Therein lies the main reason for our interest in soils. Have you heard of the Aral Sea? Just 50 years ago, it was the fourth largest lake in the world. Today, it is on the verge of extinction due to our callousness and indifference. It is termed as one of the worst environmental disasters of our planet. Yet, the world simply stood by and watched while it dried up. This indifference and inaction bothers me a lot. I am 12 and I want my land to be green and bountiful when I grow up and I want that to remain for the future generations to come. This change must come from within us. We cannot just stand by and ask others to do it for us. Otherwise, several other disasters similar to that of the Aral Sea are waiting to happen. My work on stopping land degradation started when I was eight. I started by planting trees on my birthday every year. Thereafter, I involved my friends. I conducted workshops to raise awareness. I used the social media to network across geographical borders. And today, I stand here before you telling you my story. In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. This is my message to all children of the world. Do not wait for adults to do it for you. Plant your first tree today. Talk about it to your peers. Spread the message and stop this ecocide. Our ancestors got it right when they said, whatever is affixed to the soil belongs to the soil, thereby ensuring that trees remain where they were. It is quite distressing to note the current speed with which developed nations are denuding their forests. I do not want the Yamuna River to turn into a cesspool of filth. I do not want the people of Cherokee, which is the wettest place on earth, to have to walk miles for drinking water. I do not want the mangroves of the Sundarbans 
dis dis disappear. This mayhem must stop. Otherwise, the Amazon may soon become another Rub al Tali in a few years. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Ms. Russell. We have another 10 minutes, and I'm going to open the floor for question and answer. I would request that um, as you take the floor, that you please introduce yourself so that we also get to meet you in the process. Thank you. So, 